Shoving the shit in the corner. Shoving the shit in the corner. Shoving the shit in the corner. Hey, hey. Hi there, I'm Georgia. And going clothes shopping is a whole experience. It's a complete journey. And it all depends on who you take with you. There's a big difference between shopping alone, with a sibling, or with your mum. You see, when I shop alone, I feel like one of those country girls moving to the big city full of wonder and awe. <laughs> you know, the shop assistants would spot my flannel and low-rise jeans and mistake this for an insecurity. So you know, they'd scoop me up and take me on a makeover montage, and it turns out under the glasses, saddle club braids, and extra facial hairs, I was Anne Hathaway the entire time. <laughs> and if you feel like you need a new new look or some new clothes. I actually have a Depop account. Depop is an awesome sustainable way to shop for reasonably priced clothes. As all of the clothes listed, I've worn before. With newly listed items that just didn't get enough love because, well, I might have bought it and then realized it didn't fit me properly. Or I got home and put it on in natural lighting and realized it just didn't suit my body type. I don't know. I use Depop because it's like shopping but without the guilty feeling. I just feel like I'm doing something good for the environment when I buy secondhand clothes. Well, because I am. And on the flip side, it's actually a really easy way to make a bit of cash if you want to make your own account. If you'd like to check out my Depop account, make sure to click the first link in the description. And you never know, you might find something you like. Or hate. Anyway, where was I? Shopping. This is what goes on in my head. I really think shop assistants look at me like that. But in reality, no one cares. My lettuce cut top with embroidered butterfly goes unnoticed. Also, while I'm shopping, I'm usually holding on to a beverage of some kind. Like a boost or a char time. I'm not even thirsty. I just bought it to keep my hands busy. <laughs> You know, so they don't embarrass me. As they are the most curious part of my body. A mind of their own, if you will. Like, I'll catch myself just touching and fondling with everything I walk past, even if I'm not interested in it at all. I just have to touch it! Shopping with a friend versus shopping with a sibling are completely different things. Your friend has to do the subtle letdown if they don't like something because they know they have to be completely honest. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah? Yeah. No, it just... What? I don't, well, look, I don't know, actually. If, like, if you like looking saddle club, like, it's good. But if you like it, buy it. <laughs> With your sibling, the process is much more straightforward. No. Okay. And don't even get me started on shopping with your mum. That's a whole other video. Haven't you already got something like that? Oh, I don't know, it's a bit... Booby. Yeah, try this. You could wear this to dinner tonight. Now when it comes to the change room situation, the curtain never goes the whole way. Always leaves the slightest little gap. I think I would have more privacy with no curtains, honestly. No one would dare look. But with a little slight gap, people are on the lookout. Besides, two-eye eye contact is a lot more comfortable than that freaking one-eye eye contact with someone between a curtain. And if you have a friend, they have to do that really awkward, like, holding of a curtain. It's a very specific stance and smile. It's like... Now, without fail, every time I decide to try on clothes, I'm wearing the most fabric possible or the most intricate clothes possible. Now, this is where I start stressing out because I've been in that change room for about mm, seven minutes, but it starts feeling like two hours have passed. I just start stressing out and I lose all faith in my friends, thinking they're going to abandon me because it's been that long now that they've just forgotten they're waiting for me. They've forgotten what I smell like, what I look like, my favourite brand of crouton. In fact, they've forgotten I exist altogether. I Oh, never mind, they're still there. Now, changing rooms are almost as annoying as mannequins. You may not realise that, but they're a big part of shopping. They're just always there, placed in the most weird f***ing positions, in the most inconvenient spots, giving you that weird feeling when you walk past them. Oh, sorry. My brain does this like backflip, quickly switching from the familiar feeling of an alive, breathing body beside me to a completely inanimate lump of plastic. I can't quite explain it, it's, it's just the weirdest feeling. What's worse is witnessing a mannequin being undressed in the window. Yeah, have you ever seen that before? It feels f***ing weird. It's just a weird break of the fourth wall, you know? I can't explain it, but it is. <laughs> now running into mannequins is not a problem when you get into the fancy stores. Oh. At one point during everyone's shopping experience, do we feel brave enough to enter a fancy, fancy store? <laughs> now, entering a fancy, fancy store is the equivalent to booking a dentist appointment. You know, the sweats start to happen, the voice changes, and the mmm, yep, yeps are used in response to unknown words. Abutment calculus dental prosthetics Friday, interproximal Medicare molar NIB, radiograph schedule, temperon angiobla joint, uninterrupted veneer alphabetical order. Does that work for you? Mmm, yep. It's exactly the same in a fancy, fancy store. Hi there! I see you're interested in the huge couture Vogue silhouette peplum monochrome quad weaving hemline jingham ensemble mm. bow supplique reverse alphabetical order. Does that work for you? Mm. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Now after that, it's time to go home. But not before commenting on your shopping experience on the walk back to the car. 
If the trip was good, it goes a little something like this. Oh, look at all the goodies we have. I know, I can't wait for our haul. We did so well. <laughs> yep, that's right. It's important to note that when the shopping trip does go well, it's all thanks to us. But when it doesn't... <sighs> I've got to say, I'm really disappointed with the shops today. Yes, I wasn't going to say anything, but really underwhelming. Tis a pity, a real shame. Yes, I was ready to spend. Either way, at the end of a shopping trip commentary, we all turn into PNC mums. <laughs> So bringing home your clothes is when you realise you've got nothing that works with what you've already got or you're overly excited about wearing your favourite pieces to an event that day. <sighs> so by now you've said goodbye to Anne Hathaway, your Julia Robertson pretty woman. You can't wait to show your friends your transformation from a prostitute to a person worthy of respect because she wears longer dresses and gloves. She wears longer dresses and gloves. There we go. <laughs>